alone at this moment, but backup has arrived and they uh, try to surround Burdex Flash. Oh, they're going to be able to look for the paper that Angela comes in to save the day. Now they're going to be pushed and pulled everywhere it goes. Sir Matt still secures the turtle in the end and gets himself the first blood, but the fight is not over just yet as they find Seacat and ATM to cash out. Okay, yeah, if you kind of think about it, the Irithel Joe. So we did talk about the potential, but hang that thought for a second. At the bottom, it's gonna be 3 v one No Divine Judgment, but look at the back line! Here goes Crab God with an attack, a flag from the back, surprise the opponent. Here it is, Donut getting a counter, so Donut will get the kill at the bottom. It was a good surprise, but however, I guess they do not as well. I guess it's all about execution timing. And there we go. Looking for another one as well. Hamza won't be able to find it, but they did do a chunk of damage against Donut and will in return find themselves Z-Cat. Z-Cat's got to be really careful, and here we go. A dive right through. Oh, Donut's oh, going to be the target, and this is where they get the way of the dragon on top of him. Crab God gets another one. Meanwhile, they're all funneling it down over the mid side here. Seacat, how much can he do? He's getting chunked down as he will have to back away. Smart Omega in absolute control, but here goes oh. the pull onto Lewis, and this Edip is not going to last any longer. Especially for uh, Shima. Now, uh, speaking about dealing with Burnex Flash, the Lord is up. It's going to be the first Lord, and the zoning comes in. Here it goes, kicked right onto the Sea Cat, and they're still going for the chase. They're going to be hunting them down. Flicker being popped by Sea Cat as well. They're going for Donut. One down as Joe M will secure it. I think that's about good enough. But over the back, ATM trying to pull them right back into the fight. And this is where they're happy to oblige. But their health first are then having, you know, joy in order to actually get the push up. But they do get the pull uh -oh. over onto Lewis. Lewis is going to hang on I tight while he waits for backup to arrive. It will still go down though, as Lewis will eventually fight the dust, but Shima, next one on the chopping block with a way of dragon hit upon him, and we'll be able to find that escape for the time being. Joe M falling three teeth. They have another fight coming up. Oh, here we go. So Lewis is going to be the front line. Lewis, how long can he stand? Looks like the answer is not that long as Donut at the back line gets three hits. And now he's still continuing on. Matt will be the next one to go down. Double kill given to Donut. And we only three players left for Smart Omega. This is find his space and will remain to be safe while the dance for our team lord continues as they will find oh. a full. And this is a huge punishment towards Crab God, who's got nowhere to go to escape. But they will continue on with the fight. Following down over the mid side, looking for Cat as well. This will probably be just it. A little bit of a poke damage all across the board to lower down. Remember, a little bit more of a defensive position coming from Smart Omega. They know that there's no going to be much of a commitment coming from Burnix Flash. Now, in the middle of it all, this is where they will bring the heart got on the table. And Jella finds all the kills, and they're all falling right through. This is bad for Burnix Flash as they slowly melt. With the Joy, with uh, the Matilda, but it is tough in the fight. And here goes Crab God looking for a target. He's just gonna dive right through. And with the Lord coming right in, sure he may have actually risked his life, but he will be able to come back to life. And there's nothing that Fur and Splash can do to stop Smart Omega to claim the first win of the day. Do anything about this Frederick that's slowly advancing ahead, looking for the dive, facing the weapon popped up. He's looking for the pick against Zhao M, but he's not gonna be able to find it. Oh my, he does oh. go ahead and flicker above. One for one exchange at the very least. Don't think he will be able to bring big impact considering that he had a tough time at the top lane. Oh, let's see it as they are going to be uh, funneled right through the pit as well. ATM is stuck by the corner of the wall as Sir Matt will be able to take them down and will also walk away with the turtle in hand. Things are going south for the side of Burning Splash as Donut has got nowhere to run. We'll have to find his way to just hop right. Let's see who else is able to do that amount of damage. Maybe Shima, but even so, Shima has to go in. It's gonna to be tough. But speaking about going in, Shima goes in and now tries to find that one kill onto Jom. Jom still alive at this very moment, but finally taken out by Shima. Forward target over on the bottom side, and Sermat goes in for a dive, looking for oh. ATM. ATM has to uh, walk away out of that uh, zone itself. Speaking of which, just holding on for the time being. 
Though they may not be able to survive, penalty zone over on this too, but there's no minutes for them as well. Not much damage that has been dealt in exchange, so Burnex Flash will have to let this one crumble. This card has to actually join in the party, Sea Cat as well. That's a prime example, right? Yes, penalty zone hit on the three plays for Smart Omega, but who's going to deal the damage? The damage is again an issue here for Burnex Flash, and Claude didn't have a good time, but now ATM is back. Looking for Jao, but his is going to be exchanged for Sir Matt as they're right through. And they're still out on the hunt, spotting them out, but he runs into tree. I don't think that Sir Matt will be able to walk out of this oh. safely, but here we go. A commitment Wait. onto Donut as well. Wait. And Smart Omega will bring them down one after another. A double in order to redeem themselves from this very, very uh, tough eight. And there we go. All these zone being dropped right in. Lewis gets caught by the good affair, but will be able to flick her out to safety. And now Sea Cat's in trouble as well. The Faramis will be able to give them a little bit more fighting chance. But Sir Matt, he does not care. He's just gonna go in for the dive and still walks out of the way alive, almost taking down Shima and over top side. Mm -hmm. And that is why they pressured the goal lane a lot during the early stages. If they managed to do that, they opened up space for their other goal laner. They're cool. And now, speaking about cool, this is going to be the lot in. There we go. Good to bear open things up with the ultimate, but this is where Jalam gets them all shredded up. One pick after another, and this is where Donut scrambles to stay alive. Immortality purchased by the side of Lewis. I guess at this rate, it does not matter. Sea Cat, the final member to be eliminated, as Smart Omega secures the series 2 to nil. And that means that Burnex Flash unfortunately is eliminated. Smart Omega definitely will go through. Congratulations to Smart Omega.